Aaron, knowing Corey Kluber had pitched you guys tough <laughs> in the past and what's been going on with this team, what type of jolt is it to put up six runs in that first inning? Yeah, awesome. Uh, just great at-bats from everyone, just moving the line. Um, was it seven straight there? Reaching base, um, and then a great play on, on Hagee and um, to – to put a stop and on G to end that inning. So it was just a collection of just really good at bats, some good two strike at bats, um, but certainly, you know, put us in a great spot. Donaldson, a part of that inning with a single, he hit a home run next time up, scored on a wild pitch. Considering that he has not seen live pitching in about five days, just how impress impressive is it for him to come in and have that type of impact? Yeah, it's big. And, and, you know, he brought a lot of energy with him today. You know, I think guys kind of fed off it a little bit. And, um, you know, we need that. We need that from him. He's he's a premium player when he's going, and, and we got to – uh, you know, continue to get that from him. But it was really good to see him just in sync at the plate and, and you know, real simple stroke, and I thought he looked great. John Carlos Stanton is such an important part of this lineup, especially in protecting Aaron Judge. What encouraged you most about his afternoon? Really, it's the last few days. You know, I even go back to the pinch hit at bat where he struck out against uh, Deal Bar with Minnesota. Just I thought he was in, in the – in and on a lot of pitches, same thing uh, yesterday when he pinch hit and he smoked the ball uh, right up the middle. Um, and then a couple couple balls today that he really hit well, too, right at people. So, um, yeah, I mean, to me, watching him, I just feel like his collection of last six, eight of bats now um, are closer to what, you know, when he's going really good. Lindsay. Aaron, we've asked you about this a few times, but Aaron Judge's batting average is now up to 307. What do you make of that? And have you seen him sort of step on a like different gear lately? Um, I don't know about different gear. I mean, I just think he's so, you know, locked in and not giving anything away. And, you know, obviously teams and pitchers are pitching him tough. And, um, you know, he's not leaving the strike zone. I think his, I, I just think his focus and and plan of attack of what he wants to do when he walks up there is is very clear for him and and he really does a good job of kind of slowing it down and know what know what he's looking for and um, delivering. Susan, what was special about Jamison Tyone today? Jean Carlos said it was he was awesome to watch him. Yeah. Um, I thought he. I thought he. One. I thought he used his changeup well. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to pitch, but I thought he threw a lot of good changeups to some of their lefties. Um, I thought the combination of the of the sinker and the four-seam fastball were really good. Didn't seem like he used his breaking ball a whole lot. Um, I thought the slider was good, um, but then he was just on the attack. You know, got that lead. Um, I think he came out and walked that leadoff hitter, which is not like him. But other than that, you know, he was. He was getting after it and and getting himself into good counts, but I thought I thought his two fastballs and his changeup um, were were effective for him today. To the right, Larry. Uh, judges reached base three, three times in seven straight games. The first Yankee to do that since Mickey Mantle in '57. Just how impressive a feat is to do that? You know, the home run chase and the way pitchers are pitching him. Yeah, I mean that's it's it's just a you know it's taking what the game gives you. You know, obviously you know every team's a little bit different in how they attack and pitchers are a little bit different but you know we've seen teams in some cases really pitch around them and stay away from them you know the Rays tend to go after him a little bit more um but he's take what the game gives you you know I was Mike Schmidt used to always say that to me when I was a kid he used to say take what the game gives you you know you sometimes you want to get that out or you want to get that take what the game gives you, and he's doing a great job of that right now.